the wisdom that a person is enjoying from in life usually is external wisdom comes out from outside to the person is being educated by his parents, by his teachers, society, his friends are teaching him stuff. He's seeing things with his eyes, hearing with his ears. Most of the wisdom, the knowledge that the person is purchasing is coming from outside. Now, when you try to pass on something that you received from someone else, most likely that you won't be able to pass it on in perfection in the exact same quality as you received it. It's like a broken phone. Some background noises will be heard. Some mistakes will fall into your explanation while trying to transfer it to the next receiver. But when you are expressing an inner wisdom, deep personal understandings that you gained in your own personal journey, things that you learned on your own flesh and you are sharing your life experience with your loved ones, with your surroundings, then in that case you will be able to transfer 100% of your own understanding because it's you, because you're just opening up yourself. The only problem that you might ran into is that you have much more to say and that you have a lot more to share. So we're gaining in that side of expressing our inner wisdom even more than sharing because the verse is saying nafshi yatsa bedabero the spirit of the person comes out when he speaks. The voice that comes out, the breath that comes out of you, is your spirit, like that we know about Hashem, that it's written on Hashem Himself, that when He created the world, He created the world with His own breath. And where did he brought that breath out from? From his own inside. So the spirit of life that came into the world when Hashem sent his breath out to give life to the world was from his own live spirit, from the spirit of Hashem himself. So when you give out from your spirit, when you talk, when you share, you're clearing space inside of yourself for new spirit to come down into your soul, into your physical structure. And you're enjoying inner and pure and deeper particles of spirit than you had before. The top wisdom that was the inner wisdom of yours one moment earlier, now after you expressed it and talked about it and shared it with others, it became an outside ring of your wisdom. It found its place outside of you. So now you have a place inside of yourself, inside, for an inner and deeper, much higher and more spiritual and more pure godly spirit 
that will renew your own systems and will purify you and will elevate you to higher levels of wisdom and understanding. So by sharing, not only that you give out from your wisdom to others and you help them to enjoy your wisdom and they are getting wiser, you're also doing a great favor with yourself, pulling inner light from the inner spring of your soul into your body, into this world, and by that you're purifying yourself and elevating your own spiritual level to a higher one than you were at one moment before. And if it's a bit complex, you can always watch this video again and try to listen until you will understand some of the teachings might take longer time for us to grasp, to understand. And if it was easy, you can always move to the next. In life, we should understand and realize Hashem treasured many treasures for us. Many, many surprises are on the road, on the way for us. And we just need to open our eyes to search for them till we find them. And those simple ones, amazing, amazing, amazing opportunities for growth, for spiritual understandings inside your own bookcase, inside your own thoughts, inside your, your house, among your friends, with your surroundings and not people that are far away from you. You don't need to go and search for far wisdom that is behind the mountains or across the sea. It's closer than you can imagine. You just need to open yourself to it, to listen, to care, to be more sensitive, to focus, and then you shall find it because the Creator works in mysterious ways. Suddenly you can find such amazing treasures, amazing conclusions, amazing deep understandings that are right under your nose, right under your nose. In a moment you can become so much brighter, so much wiser. And many of our greatest successful classes and teachings are coming to us through challenges and difficulties and times of pain. Not all the teachings are coming with grace and glory. Some of them are coming only after we are being humble, after we are being taken to a lower point of view to see life from a lower angle. And on those classes and teachings, we should be grateful as well. Because those are very fundamental, important and basic teachings that are required and needed for the completion and for the complete correction of our souls, spirits and bodies in this lifetime and for earlier lifetimes as well. When we are correcting in this lifetime, we're not correcting only for ourselves. We're also correcting for our ancestors and for our own selves that lived inside the bodies and spiritual vehicles of our ancestors as part, as a spark, of their spirit. So remember that you are here to correct and when you have opportunities to correct you should grab them, hold on to them and be happy about it and not to be disappointed that you are still correcting. If you would wake up a dead person that cannot correct anymore and tell him, listen, you have five minutes to correct some stuff. 
he would be the happiest person you ever saw in your life. The opportunity to correct is complete expression of mercifulness, of kindness, of unconditional love of our Maker to us. Think about the person that is standing for trial and he gets an opportunity to correct. Instead of being punished for his sins, for his crimes, he will get an opportunity to correct. How do we correct? We admit, first of all. We surrender to the trial, to the supervision of Hashem. We admit for what did we catch and grasp that we did wrong. We admit, first of all, is the confession. You're right, I was wrong and you admit. That's the first step of tshuva. And then you express your regret. I'm sorry, I messed up. I didn't realize how wrong it was. I was not careful enough. I, I was not awake enough to all the details. I'm sorry. I was blinded by my fears, by my lusts, by, by my confusions, by the exile, by the darkness. I was wrong. I messed up. That's the second step, to express the confession, the, to express the regret. And the third one, and completing, is to accept or to express your will not to sin anymore in the future. And you just need to make those three steps in the most simple way of them all, that is called an individual prayer talking. Hashem, I messed up. I admit I was wrong. I'm sorry for that. Please help me not to fall into that trap again. Now there is a fourth stage. The fourth one is to believe in the power of tshuva. That after you did tshuva, you need to believe that now all your sins have been atoned and erased and removed. And if you did tshuva out of love, you should believe that now your crimes became your merits. Now you're going to be rewarded for doing tshuva on your sins. And it's going to be a greater reward and there is no more punishment because you confessed already and you did tshuva. So faith is the completion of tshuva. You need to believe in the power of tshuva and that it's the expression of the mercifulness and kindness of Hashem that gives us an opportunity to correct in this lifetime and lucky are the ones who are spending as much time as they can doing tshuva in this lifetime and not waiting for the for the whole movie in the world to come you don't want to see that movie if you're not about tshuva this is the this is the movie you don't want to see it's a horror movie you don't want to see but when you do tshuva and all your crimes become your merits. Think about the sin of the golden calf, the, the horrible sin of a horrible violation. We have portions of Torah that are talking about it. We have deep, meaningful, powerful lessons that we got out of a felony, out of a crime out of a sin. So you see that when people are doing tshuva, coming back to Hashem and regretting for their sins, Torah comes out of the sins. No punishments, just wisdom, knowledge, closeness to Hashem. We would never drop that portion of the Torah. We would never erase that part, God forbid. We appreciate Hashem for educating us, for teaching us. This is the most beautiful thing that we could have learned. We're learning from our mistakes. So, every one of us has things to correct. And it's a blessing. And it's a powerful, powerful gift that Hashem gave us. To be able to correct and to fix. And from those corrections, Torah is coming out to the world. Thank you so much. May Hashem bless us all with great happiness. 
enjoy. Amen. Freedom through faith.